Okay, it's November 25th, the day before Thanksgiving. There's my wind turbine that I bought from Missouri Wind and Solar, which are an aus is an awesome company. They've answered day after day questions for me without getting mad. They're very patient, kind. Tech support is great. I probably spent like $3,300 so far for my panels and uh, two panels and I've got four battery banks I got two battery banks of four eight all together they are six volt batteries with 225 amp hours putting four and four together gives me uh, let's see 450 amp hours and uh, those two panels alone really don't charge the batteries like I would like and so I got this wind turbine also but I found that really to make the great system I need a nice looking kitty, I mean, I need a nice looking solar panels, four of them, not two of them, four nice looking solar panels, and a great looking kitty, 14 year old kitty, beautiful kitty. And the hard part was to find a pipe long enough that I would do a good job for me. I can't get over the trees where I'm at, I'd need a 60 foot pole and I just don't have the resource to do it so I'm gonna go up about 34 feet and around here in Oklahoma everybody drills oil wells and a friend gave me a drill stem that's 32 feet long there it is right there the end of it's pretty boogered up that's what they say around here in Oklahoma boogered up it's boogered up boogered up I got the wind turbine wire down in there. You see it right there? Let's get in focus here. Hope that thing is good. And I uh, cut a little V right here. You can't hardly see it. A little V in that pipe. So when I put it on the bottom, it's going to go through it. But anyway, that's beside the point. It's kind of bent here. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of big here and gets small. And it's kind of bent a little bit. Anyway, the pipe goes all the way down there. 32 feet, actually it's 34 feet, inch and a half, with the extension of the 2 inch OD pipe that I put in the end of it. I sledgehammered it in. I'm not going to put no bolts or anything because I sledgehammered that in so hard, it's like a press fit, it ain't going nowhere. And this is the uh, locking collar that came with the wind turbine. And this is nice and smooth, and the wires, the wire on the one end I showed you, here's the other end. Yeah, here's the other end, see? All ready to be wired up. Anyway, so there's the long pole. Off-grid cabin. Everything's off-grid. Water, hauling water, setting up rain catchment systems. Solar powered, wind powered. And uh, hard work. Get ready for hard work if you're gonna start it. When it's all done, everything's fine. You're sitting back in your chair watching TV, eating popcorn, and you got like four days off of work. But that ain't happening just yet. So, the dilemma was me, one person, lifting up this pole. I saw a YouTube video of a guy who made a fulcrum point with a ton and a half come along, and I'm kind of copying that. So what I did was I dug a hole. Let's dig a hole, let's dig a hole, and put the devil in, put the devil in. Anyway, there's the hole. I had a friend give me Two pieces of angle iron, about five foot tall. I'm not sure, I never really did measure them. Let me measure them really quick. Okay. Tis. All right, quarter inch. Quarter inch thick. Quarter inch thick, is it four? Yeah, quarter by four. Quarter by four. Angle iron, five foot tall. And my pipe is, my Joseph pipe OD is about two and three eighths. can't see it 2.365 anyway two and three eighths so I put a couple pieces of wood here to get me two point seven oh seven there down the bottom